Okay, this is Crafted Purple again, and here is another Steampunk Thursday. And so, this is the Dawn Treader. Um, also by, oh my gosh, um, let me see, L Y N C H Y I N C. That would be pronounced Line Chank. Okay, I'm just going to call him Line Chank. Um, and so this is the Dawn Treader, also built by Line Chain. Probably not how you pronounce it or how it's meant to be pronounced, but so the Dawn Treader is unique in the fact that it is submersible completely and also it can fly in the air, although I don't know why you would really need to go underwater when there's no water to go under. Oh, poor little lonely chunk. Okay, um so there is no actual way to get inside of it properly, no door or anything. Oh yeah, and then the balloon is filled with uh, newly discovered oxygen and nitrogen mix, which means that you can breathe in, breathe in, and live in the balloon instead of just the bottom bit. And so this is the observation deck. So let me just break in here. Um, down the ladder. Okay, this is huge. I'm probably going to run out of time. And once again, question, which is better? Full version of Bandy Camera, full version of Fraps. This is the information kiosk. That is Lime Shank's head. First class cabins, just a quick look at what they look like. Double bed, chest, books and stuff. And quick fly up to the second class cabins. And these are really nice. They have not as many bookshelves, but they have bigger chests but only one bid but they also have quick access to this like lounge place which is nice okay um this is a pool obviously not one to swim in but you know what I mean and then this is a rail track for the crew to get around in and then this we have here is the um divider and then it, it goes into the pipes and that goes down the deck so I'll take this as the way down Wee, this is awesome and then it, as you can see there are pipes uh -oh. okay um oh well okay I'll just show you this one this one went directly into the bridge and then over here we have the engineering room and you can see the steam and then the pipes, this, as you can see, powers the engines, and then these, out here, go into some pipes that go below the ship. And then, um, down here we have the captain's chair, nice, I like it. We have the, um, uh, beeping lights, I guess, I really don't know what those are for then some observation rooms and then I'll go up the deck to what I was going to show you or not really yeah okay and then this is the trading market area so for all the passengers come down here on trading days and they're like okay let's trade and so they trade nice little sort of park and once again they're the um the um minecart tax that decorate and this is the crew quarters lots of beds off to the crew. Then this is the crew's like track thing, and what really annoys me is that they go onto the track thing. And then up here is the passage up, and then you can see the tracks go down. And what's really crazy is that this, the power rail, rail manages to power power you to go all the way around this entire track. And he incorporates it very nicely into this sort of um splendid design don't know what else to call it, luxurious, splendid, and then, um, yeah, so the story behind this one is that after the iron class airships brought a forced peace upon, um, the, like, I don't know, Sky Realm or whatever it's called, sue me, I have no idea what this place is called, um, I guess the world after the void storm, and so, um, instead the heavy firepower of the iron class, um, ironclad airships 
were replaced by the sleek, um, luxurious design for the, um, Skylord's military elite. Very sleek and really pretty, I have to say. Beautiful. And, um, yeah, this one is short. I got through it pretty quickly. Not as much to see as the, um, Cloud Chaser. But, so, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, so, comment, rate, and subscribe. I always enjoy people subscribing, although I only have one actual one. Um, the other is my secondary channel, Rip Shadow Gaming, because people, if people don't listen to my first video, they'll have no idea what Rip Shadow Gaming is, and so they'll just see if they, if they want to check the subscribers. Then I have one actual one, but I'm so sad I only have one. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice ship. I liked it a lot. And then just a quick show of these the pipes I was telling you about earlier. There we go. Um uh so then here are the engines. So he said this was to um explore more of the steam side of steampunk. And once again, mine Chayik, if that's how you pronounce it, you're a truly incredible builder. And, um, honestly, what I really want to see might happen, might not, is him to team up with Hypixel and make a steampunk themed map. That would be amazing. Um, and if you agree with my idea, tell both both Lychaink and Hypixel. Um, but don't spam them, because that's really annoying. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.